Alexios, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same. Well, here I am. Though I'm more curious about how you are here. The guards let you in? I only had to tell them how close we are, and they let me come see you. Ah, then you used what you learned from me. I'm impressed. My words cut very, very deep. Your care is appreciated, but if you had waited only a bit longer, I'm sure my trial would have taken place and I'd be free. You're not going to trial. We're getting you out of here. I understand your concern, but what good would escaping do other than prove I'm guilty? No. In fact, I'm looking forward to this trial. You would go to trial just to prove you can convince them of your innocence? Exactly! You have your ways to find excitement, and I have mine. What were you arrested for? I haven't the slightest idea. And that doesn't bother you? Sometimes understanding does not come at the moment we would like. More importantly, this is giving me the necessary time to think. About... I went to see the Tithia, and she told me there is none wiser than me. An intriguing thought, and one I've been unable to stop thinking about. Socrates, the Pythia is... It matters not what you believe she is or she isn't. I must examine not only her words, but my own self as well. I know nothing, so how could I be called wise? What does that have to do with being locked up? I believe my time here and this trial may help me find the answer. I will be fine. Trust me. I've known you for a while now. That's true. And you'd call us friends? I would. And friends share important things with one another. Is that so? It is. Then how did I not know you were married? I, uh... From what you just said, that means either we're not friends, or that friends don't share with one another. So, which is it? <laughs> I've wondered how much of our conversation you've taken to heart. And now, I have my answer. Were you doing anything when you got arrested? If speaking my mind is worth imprisonment, then I suppose I was. In the future, you may want to be more careful. You risk life and limb every time you draw your blade. Just because it's my tongue that is sharp, doesn't mean I'm not prepared to face the consequences of using it. Since you won't leave with me, I'll go see the Pythia myself. That's not necessary. I'll find out why she told you that. I won't let you go to trial, even if you think you'll be found innocent. Ah, Alexios, you! I'll come back when I have what I need. Not you. You remember me? Just go. I'm too old for this. There might be a bit of blood when you go upstairs. You again! I'm here for a different reason. After last time, they tortured me. 
I thought they were going to kill me, just like I told you. It hurt so badly, I begged for death. I didn't mean for that to happen. Just hurry, and tell me what you want. You told Socrates something, and I want to know why. <laughs> Questioning why the Pythia speaks is a strange thing. I know why you speak, and I know who controls your voice. Tell me why the cult had you tell Socrates he's the wisest. The cult didn't tell me to say that. I did that on my own. The cult wouldn't allow you to do that. Which is why I was very careful. I seek Socrates as an ally, but simply asking him to help wouldn't have worked. An ally? For what? I know much of Socrates. Not only has he visited me often, but his students do as well. Get to the point. You know the gods don't speak through me. I feel Socrates is the one who can convince others of this. If he succeeds, the cult will have no more need for me. So you're hoping he comes to the conclusion that the gods don't exist? It matters not if Socrates believes they exist. He needs simply to doubt that the gods speak through me. I understand why you think Socrates can help, but why tell him he's the wisest? He'll delve into what it means to be wisest. It's my hope he'll conclude he's not, and therefore doubt the words of the gods. If you just told him your words aren't from the gods, wouldn't that serve the same purpose? And much quicker? Socrates is not the type to desire the answer so easily. He'll have more drive when he finds the answer on his own. This is getting complicated. Whatever you do, you can't tell Socrates. I understand. He has to come to the answer on his own. Exactly. Although, if you truly wish to help Socrates, a student of his came by not long before you. He seemed... distraught. Distraught? He was clutching a book tightly to his chest and kept looking over his shoulder. He told me he was going into a tomb nearby until things were safe. Thank you. I'll find him. You don't need to be scared now. I'm not with them. That doesn't mean you won't kill me. You just want this for yourself. I'm a friend of Socrates. You are? Prove it! Socrates is one of the most frustrating people I've ever known. He just talks, and talks, and talks. And it feels like he asks questions just so he can continue talking, and talking, and talking. What you call frustrating, I call brilliant. But it's clear you know him well. <laughs> Why were those men after you? For some reason, they wanted these writings of Socrates's. Well, I wrote them, but it's all his words. That seems like a strange thing to want. One of them had a big mouth. He mentioned something about the priest at the sanctuary of Athena Pronea. He said this was the final thing they needed to get rid of Socrates. I've always been curious. What does Socrates teach you? So much. Follow him around for an entire day and you won't be able to sleep. Your mind will be so aflutter with thoughts. I'm not sure I'd last a whole day with him. What drew you to Socrates? I've never met a man like him and I don't think I ever will again. Every day with him is one worth waking up for. I'll take care of the priests. Thank you. And... Well... Please... Give this to Socrates. It hurts me to say this after all I've learned from him, but I have a family. I can't risk being caught up in whatever this is. So you're going to stop being his student? It feels I have no choice. Maybe one day that will change. I'll be sure to give him the writings. Thank you. Make sure he stays safe. The world will be a worse place without him in it. That student gave me an idea. Xantipi said there was a symposium. 
Maybe I can convince the others who were there to help Socrates. I'm not sure why the priests want Socrates gone, but I need to take care of them.